The once vibrant European capital, Kyiv, is living under a blanket curfew right now. The residents have been asked to stay off their own streets. A blast was heard to the west of the Kyiv city centre. This came minutes after an air raid siren was rung. The regional chief says that there is intense fighting ongoing. <laughs> Overnight, Russian forces pounded the capital with artillery and cruise missiles. In the dead of the night, streets were left empty. This was in contrast to the columns of vehicles choking roads in recent days. Tens of thousands of residents fled Kyiv and continued to do so in hope of escaping the aggression. And those still in Kyiv took shelter in an underground car parking. Officials issued warnings to residents to stay away from windows and take precautions to avoid flying debris and bullets. But despite these circumstances, the will to defeat Russia remains strong in Kyiv. In the last couple of nights, many have taken shelter in basements, underground parking, garages and subway stations. Russia claims its assault on Ukraine is aimed only at military targets, but reports say that bridges, schools and residential buildings have also come under attack. Western leaders urged Vladimir Putin to choose the path of diplomacy, but after Kremlin ordered its troops to barge into its neighboring country, diplomacy took a back seat. Kyiv says it is open to dialogue, but not in Belarus, as Minsk was complicit in the Russian invasion. Сейчас много новостей о возможных переговорах Украины и России, которые могут закончить. There's a lot of news about possible talks between Ukraine and Russia, which can end this war and bring peace back to all of us. Your capital Minsk is often mentioned there as the platform for these talks. It's the platform that we didn't choose, and neither did you in fact. It was chosen by Russian authorities. If there wasn't aggressive actions from your territory, we could have talked in Minsk. In your capital. When you were neutral, we talked in Minsk. Met many times. It's a right and honest way to talk as neighbors to each other. In a statement, Russian Defense Ministry said that due to this rejection, Moscow ordered to broaden its offensives from all directions. Вчера, после заявлений киевского режима о готовности к переговорам, активные боевые действия на основных направлениях операции были приостановлены. После того, как украинская сторона отказалась от переговорного процесса, сегодня всем подразделениям был отдан приказ о развитии наступления на всех направлениях в соответствии с планом проведения операции. Meanwhile, Ukraine's deputy prime minister has called on the International Red Cross to help repatriate bodies of Russian soldiers. We ask the International Red Cross to help us repatriate the bodies of Russian soldiers to Russia. There are thousands of invaders' bodies. This is a humanitarian need. And we ask the invaders to leave Ukrainian territory and go back to Russia. We call upon Russians again to make it that there are less bodies of your sons, of your men, otherwise there will be thousands of them. I say it again, victory will be ours. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.